Hey guys, how you going? Hope you're all doing very well. This afternoon I'm going to be doing another movie review for you all. This movie is a horror film from the United States, English language, released in the year 2023, directed by Lee Cronin, and this film is called Evil Dead Rise. So Evil Dead Rise is about a woman. She is going to visit her sister because she has a lot of problems in her life. This woman is a guitar technician for a band, and she is trying to seek clarity and have a clearer path in, in her future, so she hopes that her biggest sister will be able to uh, you know, help her out with this, these problems that she's having. But when she gets to the apartment complex where her sister lives, she realises that her sister has just as many problems. Her husband ran her off on her and now she's left to fend for herself. She's raising her two kids and she has been told that her apartment complex is going to be destroyed. So it's a condemned building and she doesn't know where she's going to live. So both these sisters have numerous problems but they hope that they're going to seek comfort within each other and try and build a better life. But unfortunately after an earthquake the earth opens and one of these children uncovers a book. And when this person recites what this book has in it, this is where demons are released and now all hell is about to break loose. And so what happens uh, from that point on is something you're going to have to find out for yourself because that's as far as I'm going with my synopsis. Now my thoughts on Evil Dead Rise. I had massive expectations for this film and I, I thought as though this was a movie that was not going to reach those expectations so I went in there with a lot of hesitation but after watching this movie I will say it's one of the rare occasions where it exceeded my expectations. This was an incredibly enjoyable experience. It's not a perfect experience for reasons that I'll go into a little bit later but if you want an Evil Dead film that's exactly what you're going to get. This is a movie that I wouldn't say is as good as Feta Alvarez's remake uh, because that was absolutely sensational but this movie I really appreciated the fact that that it wasn't trying to recycle what Feta Alvarez did and Feta Alvarez wasn't trying to recycle what Sam Raimi did in the original and so that's what I like about this franchise is that it's not cashing in off the name it's actually trying to evolve the law and I thought this movie it takes place in an apartment complex not a cabin and I thought as though it was just as good and so it's a very risky thing to take the elements of what made a really good film and try and change it and make it more modernized but I thought as though Lee Cronin did a very good job at actually giving you an evil dead experience but an experience that hasn't been done over over and over and over. And so that was the criticism I have of the remake is that, okay, it's in a cabin, it is a remake, and so it does have, you know, you've got to make some concessions for that. But this movie, it felt like a completely different film. It was in an apartment complex, the, the characters were all different, and that's something that I really liked. And I wasn't quite sure how the apartment would actually play out, but the fact that it was condemned, it was all dilapidated, I thought was fantastic because there's a very haunting feeling that you get when you actually in introduce to this family. And so when the, the movie gets darker and darker, I thought as though the apartment complex becomes creepier and creepier and it becomes smaller and so the claustrophobia in this movie was the most surprising element because it's a deeply psychological film so on one hand you have the brutal violence if you go into this movie expecting gore and blood this is a movie that's really going to exceed your expectations once again this is a film that's really going to cater for all your depraved needs there were some moments that made me flinch uh, there were some moments that made me shocked and so that's exactly what you want from this type of film but the movie never really gets to the point where it's trying to disturb you it's allowing you to have a lot of fun actually watching all the kind but it never gets to the point of being silly so it never gets to the point of being a horror comedy it's not making light of the Evil Dead franchise it's just allowing you uh, your sick inner self to actually uh, enjoy all the carnage that you're actually seeing bef um, unfold before your very eyes. And so for the casual viewer, that may come across as sick, you know, enjoying watching people being slaughtered. But the way this movie is done, I thought the brutality works in a way that it's not disturbing you to a point. It, it does shock you, it does make you cringe, but it's a lot of fun. And that's exactly what the Evil Dead franchise really understands, how to make depravity fun. And so it might seem very sick to the average viewer, but if you are a Evil Dead fan, you know exactly what I mean, is that this movie, the gore effects were absolutely phenomenal. There was buckets of blood that looked really good. And there were some set pieces that I thought were absolutely uh, you know, cringeworthy and very, very creepy. And I thought as though the, the tone of this film was incredibly creepy and it was scary as well. And so that's something that I really like, again, about this franchise. It's a very scary franchise because not only is it hitting you with depraved violence, it's also hitting you with very psychologically unnerving visuals. I thought the deadites in this movie were absolutely phenomenal, especially the sister when she actually becomes a deadite. It's not really a spoiler because it's all in the trailer. But that deadite looked absolutely fantastic and every time she was on screen, I just felt really unnerved and so the whole film just has that really scary quality to it that really complements the depravity and that's something that you don't see very often in horror films these days either it's a psychological horror film or it's a gory film and it's not uh, often that both uh, the elements really combine together very well but this movie really did that and that's why it exceeded my expectations so what this is why this film was as good as it is is because it has a lot of fun but at the same time it's scaring you so it genuinely feels 
like a horror film and it's an endurance test because the amount of blood and violence they hit you I thought all right well it's very unrelenting and so it's never boring I thought the continuity was fantastic and everyone does a great job as I thought the the supporting cast all do fantastic jobs and when they uh, the horror really hits you this is where it gets really insane so the film is crazy but as I said it never really gets itself to the point of being silly it always it restrains itself to allow you to really enjoy a film that has a very consistent tone and so it sounds like your kind of thing I would highly recommend you check out Evil Dead Rise my issues with the film is that the story doesn't really go anywhere I didn't really care about the characters but then again it's an Evil Dead film you go in there to watch the Deadites and the Book of the Dead and all, you know, all hell breaking loose so that's a very minor issue and another very minor issue is not with the film itself but to make a, a genuine Evil Dead experience, you definitely need Bruce Campbell. But that, that's not the film's problem. Uh, that's not the film's fault. But you know, Bruce Campbell is definitely the face of Evil Dead, and so to have him in this film would have been an absolute knockout. It would have made the experience perfect. But that's something that can't be helped. So pushing those two very minor criticisms aside, this is a fantastic horror film that I'm sure a lot of people are going to really like. Go out there and see it. I'm going to give this film four stars. Alright guys, that's it for my review. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching movies and I'll see you later. Bye.